hey you guys what's up it's your girl creed welcome back to another video today's video is going to be all about body mist those of you who are into that clean girl aesthetic or those of you who just like a clean musky scent whether it be more on the clean fresh out of the shower vibe or if you just like a sweet musky scent this is going to be the video for you today i have so many goodies i have some that are for the freshy lovers and then i have some that's for the sweet musky but still fresh scent type of lovers so if that sounds like a video that you guys would be interested in seeing stay tuned just in case you are new to the channel i would highly appreciate if you guys decided to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you guys find that you do enjoy the content if you find that this is not your first time maybe your second your third i mean go ahead and join the film we would love to have you you guys with no further ado let's get into the video so we're not going in no particular order you guys i got some basic fresh scents i got some florals in here i got some sweet scents so let's just jump into it so first up i have this aquatic allure which is a scent that i just recently got i would think back in january from victoria's secret at a sale this has the notes of sea salt and coastal jasmine it says glistening waves spritz jasmine and airy musk embrace the tides and so obviously you guys this is an aquatic scent mm, you can definitely get that jasmine and that airy musk this is just like a clean girl aesthetic type of vibe like literally this is just a clean girl fresh out of the shower you spritz this on you go on about your day like this is what this is um the look of the bottle matches what it states it's just a very pretty airy musky scent and i highly recommend that for my girls who just want to smell fresh out of the shower clean and next up we're just gonna stick with that vibe i'm gonna go with this here this is an og for me as you guys can see the dent is very much denting this is aqua kiss by victoria's secret this has the notes of cool waters bright daisy make a splash <laughs> and you guys this is the most upscale fresh scent one of the best that i have in my collection that is a body mist uh you guys this just gives me vibes of a perfumey type of body mist like this definitely gives perfume vibes it's so good it's like a sweet i'm assuming floral scent it's not very fruity it's just more of a aquatic leaning perfumey kind of scent it's not fresh out of the shower fresh it's more of a fresh on the go like ready for the day like along the lines of a aqua de joya ocean de joya it doesn't smell like those by any means but it's more of that type like an aquatic that also can double as a perfume it doesn't seem like it would be a body mist Proof is in the pudding. Look at the dent. I have a backup of this waiting because I don't want to be without it. Highly recommend that. Next up, this is a newbie that I have yet to even really bring to my channel. I didn't make a video about it when I purchased this, but I hauled this at the last fragrance mist sale that they had. This is Water Lily Springs, and this has the notes of Dew Kissed Lilies, Crisp Waters, and Clean Musk. Mm. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. Again, it's like a shampoo-y, fresh type of vibe to me. It's like watery, but not aquatic. It's watery, though. I'm guessing that's that Duke Kiss Lilies crisp water. It is. It's watery, but I wouldn't consider it like necessarily an aquatic. And that clean musk, you definitely get it. This is just a clean, musky fresh scent um i really like this I have a little bit of a dent just from me trying it out but i definitely plan to get use out of this this spring and summer so mm. that's so really next up this is actually a discontinued scent so i hate to bring y'all that but i think you can probably find it still like on ebay or maybe mercari if you shop there but this is victoria's secret rush i remember having this years back and i happened to find it um this has the notes of sultry woods midnight mandarin sparks fly is what it says and um you guys oh this is a sweet aquatic type of scent it smells really really good it gets woody in that base something different about it it's really nice it's an aquatic but it's sweet on the sweeter side so 
I really like this scent. This is a perfect, another example of like a perfumey type of scent. Just like this Aqua Kiss is, but they go in two different directions. I really like this scent. So if you have this, I definitely recommend you pull this out as one of those clean girl aesthetic type of scents. So a newbie that I picked up at the SAS sale this year, which again, I didn't make a video about that. I haven't been doing a whole lot of Bath & Body Works videos as of this year. I had took a little hiatus, but now that I'm back, I did want to feature it. This was one that I kind of slept on, y'all. I only have this one, and I'm kind of upset about it. I wish I had picked up more than one, but yeah, let's get into it. This is Lovely Dreamer. This has the notes of fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. Y'all, when I first got this, I just didn't catch it like it didn't come to me the way that it does now and I'm just like why didn't I catch it y'all <sighs> this definitely is backup worthy this is just giving you clean fresh vibes through and through there's nothing else to it literally fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot it is a fresh clean musky scent this gives me white t-shirt vibes. Like, this gives me, she don't spill nothing on that white t-shirt, which is so not me. However, I love me a clean musky scent for just on the go, on a Friday, on a Saturday, when I just need to hit the stores. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to Target. I need to go to Walmart. This is what this is giving me. Just a any and every day, get up and go scent. I love this. In addition to the next one that I'm gonna show you, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull out because I love to pair these two together, Indigo Dreams. This, like that, is another one that I slept on at first, but I was able to get a backup of this. This is one that I did not hear a lot of people talk about or get a lot of rave reviews on YouTube, which I'm cool with, you know what I'm saying? Because once they get word, you know, might be selling out, so <laughs> nah, y'all. But y'all, this is, oh my God. This is a perfumey slightly unisexy fresh musky scent but it has a little bit of depth to it like i really enjoyed this scent and i don't feel like it gets the praise that it deserves literally when i first smelled this in the store along with lovely dreamer i didn't really get the full effect and i think it's because like i said when you're in the store there are so many scents being sprayed and in the air wafting you can barely smell some of the scents and that's how it was for these sometimes those clean musky scents kind of just flow by the wayside but you guys i promise you i promise you if you have these two put them together oh just a, a match made in heaven y'all when i tell you this is a scent i wish i had more of and i don't think they will come back out with this i really don't but if they happen to get your hands on this one this is so so good especially with lovely dreamer they make a really good match but notes of bergamot water glowing amber and warm musk mm, and for me you do get that glowing amber you get that opening of bergamot ah oh, and it, it does just it just envelops you the smell literally it does dry into this warm mm, such a cozy musky scent you guys this would be perfect for netflix and chill put these two together and you're a winner like you smell like you have a get up and go perfume type of vibe like a skin type of perfume like a clean reserve scent that's what i would say these would be if they were a perfume smell so good you guys so next up, here's one that I have that I don't really have too much experience using this yet, but I wanted to add it on this list because it does fall into this category. This is the Sapphire Moon. I picked this up at SAS as well. I was kind of underwhelmed with it, but I think it may perform a little better come spring and summer and maybe I can get a better feel for it. But this has the notes of Sparkling Pear, Sheer Freesia, and Moonlit Musk. I remember smelling this in the store and really liking it. However, when I got it home, it just kind of was like an afterthought. So I don't know, you guys. I have it though, so I wanted to feature it. But if you guys happen to have this, this definitely goes along those clean girl aesthetic vibes. So Sapphire Moon. I bet mm. the, well, I have one more. So this right here is an OG to Bath & Body Works. This is um, one of their quintessential scents. This is Ging. It has the notes of Blue Freesia, White Peach, Fresh Clementine, Violet, and Clean Musk. Y'all, I got a lot of use out of this. Let's see. Yeah, it's down here, y'all. But I even have backups of this. 
I, I got sick of this set, so I kind of put it away. But, y'all, when I tell you when I first got this, this was a go-to. And then I even got a new perfume. I don't think I should show it in this video. I might show it as a bonus at the end. Just because I just want to sprinkle in a little something different for y'all. But, yeah, y'all, since we talk about clean girl aesthetics, we got to put this in here. This, I can already think of two perfumes off the top of my head that this will layer good with. But this is just a quintessential shampoo-y clean girl vibe coming out the shower fresh type of body mist it smells so good it is literally clean musky scent you definitely get that white peach and that clementine it's beautiful i love it i really do i highly recommend that for any girl that just likes a clean get on the go type of scent and at the end i am going to show y'all something that i think would pair nicely with that just as a bonus so now I have this one, it's called Sweater Weather, which we're almost jumping out of the season where this is necessary, but I think you can put this on into the spring as well. This has the notes of sun crisped apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. This I do feel is a little on the unisex side, which I don't mind. A woman could definitely pull this out, but I think a man could as well. That crisp apple is definitely detectable. Autumn leaves, mm, I don't know what that smells like. Woods, I can kind of get that. It's just a really nice fragrance. I think fall and spring is when this will perform its best. But if you like a nice crisp apple scent, then you'll like this. And it gives musky vibes to me. Okay, so these next ones are really more on the perfumey side. Now I have one that's coming from Victoria's Secret. And this is going to be one that I feel like did not get a lot of love. I don't think to this day people really talk about this scent. But to me, this was like an easy grab. This is Victoria's Secret's Pastel Sugar. And this has the notes of Vanilla Orchid paints cotton candy skies, lavender musk. <laughs> now I know a lot of y'all really don't like lavender. It's like you either love it or you hate it, right? You know, this scent is just a very beautiful. It's like a cotton candy musky scent. I really, really like this. I get the vanilla. I get the cotton candy. And just a hint of that lavender. It's not too prominent to me. To me, you guys, this scent smells very similar to I'm a Musk by Finery. If you guys have ever seen that, I've stated it before. I had that scent. I really like that scent. And if you like that, you will most likely like this. If you have it in your collection, I think it'll be perfect. Definitely gives those clean girl aesthetic vibes. I'm chilling on it right now, but I have a backup. And I even have it in the lotion. I thought this was the prettiest packaging. But yeah, I don't think this is so slept on in my opinion. But maybe because it's one of those musky scents. And I don't think a lot of people really gravitate towards that. That said, there is also another body mist that... Victoria's Secret just recently came out with, and as soon as I smelled it, I said, that smells very similar to this, almost as if it could be a repackage. They don't have the same notes or anything like that, but if I can think of what it is, because I went in the store and smelled it, y'all, I didn't buy it because it reminded me of this, so I didn't think I needed another one, but if I can think of what it is, I'll definitely leave it here for you, but if I can't, no worries, but this was really good, you guys that will wear well too with lovely dreamer and look at the packaging right match made in heaven so these last three that i have aren't really your average musky scents but i think they would be good for the girl who likes a musky fresh scent but also wants it to be like a little perfumey this will be for you so first up i have in the stars which this has the notes of starflower sandalwood musk sugar tangelo white agar wood and radiant amber you guys you know you already know the vibes on this one right this is not new <laughs> this is an og for bath and body works at this point you can always get it it's a part of their core collection you guys i just love this i really do when i first got into fragrances and i started to get the different dnas and the dupes of like baccarat 540 <laughs> when i first started smelling it when i came out into fragrances they were everywhere and this was one that i could enjoy and i liked i really really did you know this is just something i gravitated to i don't know it's something about it it's a it's a nice clean musky scent but it still gives off a perfumey vibe i would even dare to say this could be slightly unisex as well 
I don't know y'all this just did it for me and i really enjoy this scent and certainly this would be categorized in that clean girl aesthetic vibe in the stars uh we have our florals so we have rose by bath and body works now rose is a scent that they actually just repackaged i think again but i think this is also a part of core line so you don't really have to worry about not being able to get it wait for a sale but you'll be able to pick this up as someone who's not really a rose girly, this fragrance really surprised me. I think I just got it because of the aesthetic of it all, because it's giving clean girl vibes, y'all. Look at it. Is it nice? <laughs> so here are the notes. We have airy rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. I can honestly say this is that to a T. Literally, you get that airy rose water right off the top. The jasmine petals and the creamy musk. This is a very beautiful soft feminine rosy scent rose is definitely in the opening and it's definitely throughout the length of the fragrance you're going to detect it if you don't like rose at all you won't like this scent however it's not super mature it is definitely a very delicate rose this scent somehow is very creamy it's the perfect musky scent and it's super feminine. I would dare to say that you can wear this on like a date, daytime date or brunch. And this to me gives a perfume vibe to a T. I oftentimes when I do pull for this, which isn't often, I do have a, a tiny dent though. When I pull for this, most of the time I would layer it with my dossier version of Chanel Chance. Otandra. So I really like this scent for that, but it's good on its own. Again, white t-shirt type of vibe. So last but not least, I have this one and this is Hello Beautiful. And this has the notes of white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. So it's very clear to me that anytime we're going for a clean type of scent or aesthetic, they always throw in either clementine or peach. So obviously those are the vibes when you want a clean type of aesthetic. <sighs> you know, I remember getting this and smelling it and just thinking, wow, I need to pull for that more often because you guys, it's just so beautiful. And just like you can see this beautiful packaging, this is another, I think they repackaged, but I like this the best. This is amazing. It's gorgeous. Um, it's just a very pretty floral musky scent it's heavy on the florals you guys so if you don't like florals you're not going to be able to stand this this definitely is heavy on the florals but it's still soft and delicate and so pretty and i get that pink nectarine as well you know i just love this scent i really do i need to pull for it more i'll definitely be pulling for this in the summertime this next one is going to be sugar sky by pink with victoria's secret and you guys i got a lot of use out of this this past season in the fall and winter this has the notes of cotton candy skies whipped vanilla and sweet musk and to me this was just a really pretty soft sweet musky scent it's very nice and airy it's not super strong but you can smell it i think this was a good bedtime scent this will also be a nice around the house scent for me i work from home so it's just an easy grab when you're getting fresh out the shower this was just a really nice musky but a little more on the sweet musk side so if that sounds like something that you guys like and you lean more towards the sweet musk versus the clean musk then you would like this scent i don't get a whole whole lot of that cotton candy but that whipped vanilla and sweet musk is mostly what i pull out and i really really enjoy it so yeah sugar sky by victoria's secret pink so i literally just came up with this off the top of the dome so just work with me y'all this is my process so first things first this is new to my collection i just had this featured in a haul but i just want to show you guys what i got is this so we have dolce and gabbana light blue summer vibes if you like a clean girl aesthetic then I would assume you probably have at least one of the Dolce & Gabbana light blues in your collection. But just in case you don't, let me introduce you to this one. <laughs> this is the one that has the peach note in there. And as I've already stated, peach is normally listed in the notes for most clean type of musky scents. And this is no exception. So this one here, 
I think if you paired this, and I'm literally just coming out the dome with this, y'all. I don't know. If I paired this, mm, that smells good. Gingham. And I mean, first of all, the packaging already, already tells me yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, put these two together. If you have these, put these two together and let me know. Are you smelling good this summer? Put these two together. It's going to be a winning combo this spring and summer. Trust me. Again, these are fresh off the dome, so just bear with me. Bear with me. I'm, I'm coming up with, with combos right off, right off the top. Okay, so another combo that I feel would go good with this. Now, mind you, this had that blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. This would go good with a lot of things. But another one that I think would be good paired with that is this gorgeous, right? How about that rose gold and this white? Also has the name listed here. So, yeah, y'all. This is a very pretty clean scent it's like a floral slightly fruity but ultimately just a clean musky scent i even somewhat get a little bit of like detergent type of vibes just a little bit just the hair but y'all this would be so good let's see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mixed in with this these two will probably go very well together Mm hmm yeah for sure yes they will go very well together i think these two would go good together i'm just coming off the dome this is how i come up with combos it either work or it don't all right i got a bomb combo y'all just put it together here on the spot we're gonna go with gucci flora with water lily springs trust me Put these two together. It's going to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to work. Y'all, we're going to be feeling good this summer. I'm excited for us. Is you excited for us? Because I'm excited for us. Uh, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed some of these combos and some of these that I brought to you. Are you a clean girl, aesthetic type of girl? Do you love you a good fresh scent like I do? I love me a good, clean, musky, fresh out the shower, fresh on the go, white t-shirt type of vibe. And so if that's also you, now mind you, I said white t-shirt type of vibe, not white t-shirt for real, because I can't do a white t-shirt. I'm an all black type of girl. You guys, I enjoy doing this. Definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.